When you first open Digital Photo Professional, you'll see a window that looks like this. It's called the main window. Let's take a look at the basic operations and buttons in this view. On the left, there's a folder tree, and by clicking these arrows, you can navigate to the folder that contains the images you want to work with. As soon as I click on the folder, thumbnails appear on the screen. If I know that I'll return to this folder often, it's helpful to bookmark it by choosing Bookmark, Add. By going to the drop-down menu under View, you can choose to view your images as large thumbnails, medium thumbnails, small thumbnails, or thumbnails with information. Like many of the functions of DPP, you can also use a keyboard command to accomplish the same task. Command 1, that's Control 1 on a computer running Windows for large, Command 2 for medium, 3 for small, and 4 for thumbnails with information. This view shows you a histogram and some useful shooting data, like the date and time of the shot, shutter speed, and aperture. And if you'd like to see even more information, select a file and choose File, Info, or Command-I. That will bring up a box of EXIF data. I'll go back to viewing these images as medium thumbnails to show you how to sort and select your images. To choose a single image, simply click on it. This button will select all of the images in the folder, and so will typing Command-A. Remember, that's Control-A on a Windows computer. To choose a group of images in succession, click on the first image in the series, and then click on the last image in the series while holding down the Shift key. If you want to choose a group of images that are not in succession, hold down Command while clicking on your choices. Click on View, Sort, and you can rearrange the order of your images. By default, the images are sorted by file name. You can also choose to sort by shooting date and time, by checkmark, or by raw priority, which moves your raw files to the top and your JPEGs to the bottom if you have raw and JPEG images in the same folder. There are a couple of other buttons that you see in the main window that we haven't mentioned yet. Starting from the left, the Edit Image Window button takes us to another view, where we'll see individual images larger while we make adjustments. We'll see lots more about this button later. The Folders button turns the folders at the left on and off. The Tools button opens the palette that we'll use to adjust color, saturation, sharpness, picture style, and much more, and we'll spend lots of time on the Tool palette later in these tutorials. The Select All button does just that, and the Clear All button deselects everything. Chosen images can be assigned a check mark 1, 2, or 3 for organizing and prioritizing. And if you change your mind, this next button will clear your check marks. The rotate left and right buttons will change the orientation of the selected images. The batch process button is used to begin processing your selected images. We'll discuss this button at some length later. Look for the tutorial called Batch Processing coming up.